Hey there, YouTubers. Matha Fanatic is here, ready to do some more constructions. We're going to create the Ortho Center today. And the Ortho Center is created by uh, constructing three altitudes of a triangle. And an altitude is a segment that goes from the vertex of a triangle to the opposite side perpendicularly. So it's going to hit the opposite side at a right angle. So how do we do that? Well, uh, the first thing that you want to do is create what I call the smiley face. And the way that we do that is you uh, put the needle of the compass on the triangle uh, at the vertex, which you're going to drop your first altitude from. So I'm going to drop my altitude down this way, so I put my needle there. Then I need to open the compass wide enough so that it goes below the triangle side uh, that I'm dropping the altitude to. So I drop it down that low, and then I create the smiley face. See, it looks like a little smiley. It's got little corners of the mouth there. You know, you can throw some dimples on there if you're feeling adventurous. Uh, but for right now, I just need that smiley. Once you get the smiley face, uh, your next step then is to bisect the segment that's created by the smiley face. So uh, you notice, again, that the smiley face hits the side at two points, which I call the corners of the mouth. So basically what we're going to do is bisect... Um, the upper lip of the mouth, if you will. And to do that, uh, we're going to put the needle on each intersection, and then we need to open the compass a little bit past the halfway point, the estimated halfway point uh, of the mouth. And then we're going to create an arc above and below. Well, I guess uh, just below. I could do it above, but it's unnecessary. I'm just going to do it below. And then I come over here and I do the same thing. There we go. We'll arc there. And uh, through this intersection and the opposite vertex should be my altitude. Uh, so I should be able to draw that segment through. So I'm going to go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the altitude from that vertex straight down through that intersection that we just created and it should hit it at a straight angle. And if you need to check that it's a straight angle, all you need to do is find something that has a right angle built in, like a sheet of paper or an index card or something. And you take that object and you move it to the triangle so that the bottom edge goes along the triangle and then you just sort of slide that object up against the altitude. And if the bottom edge of the triangle and the altitude go right along the right angle of the object, then you know you've got a good right angle. If the altitude happens to be slanted, say, uh, behind the object you're using or outwards, then you know that your altitude is not very accurate. So that's uh, a way to check to see that your altitude is a good right angle. So all that's left then is to create the other two. And uh, to do that, what I'm going to do is uh, simply rotate this around because it's a lot easier if the side that you are dropping the altitude to is sort of horizontal to your body. So I'm going to try to do that. There we go. And come up here. Open my compass. And then make my smiley again. And what happens sometimes on the smiley is that it doesn't connect uh, on one side. So see here it goes beyond the triangle and so it doesn't intersect the side twice. I've got one intersection here but I don't have one over here. So what I need to do in this case is just make it intersect. That is I need to extend that side length out. So I'm, you just take a straight edge and you put it up against that side and you simply extend that side length out. So that's all I'm going to do. Extend it out just like that. And so now I've extended it out and I have an intersection and that's the one that I need. Place my needle on the corners of the mouth and create those arcs above and below. So place it there like that. And make sure it's a little bit past halfway, which it is, and then make an arc below there. Switch the sides. Go to the other corner of the mouth and 
make another arc below so that it intersects that last one I just created. And then I should draw my altitude in. So I go from the vertex through that intersection. There's another altitude. And so now you see that the altitudes, the previous two that I created, intersect right here at this point. That's my projected ortho center. But I need to make sure uh, that all three of them intersect at that one point. So I need three concurrent lines to create the ortho center, not just two. So I got one more to go, and then I should be all finished. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this one more time so I can get this last side. And you can see it's starting to get just a tad bit cluttered. And if you find it getting a little too cluttered, then you can erase some parts of it. So um, I only really need to keep the intersections that I used. So I could erase, say, parts of the smiley face and some of this excess up here. Get rid of some of this. There's a lot of extra going on. And so if it starts to get confusing, all you should do is erase it. Make sure you don't erase... Uh, the altitudes themselves, though. That would be a bad idea. There we go. So I went ahead and I erased some stuff. Made it a little cleaner. I'm ready to finish my construction here. So I just go ahead and put my needle on the last vertex that I'm drawing the altitude from. And I open my compass past that far side there. Draw my smiley. And again, you see that on one side, I didn't quite hit the triangle. So what I'm going to need to do then is to extend that side out. So take a straight edge. And simply extend the side out. And when you extend the side out, I have seen students get confused with uh, which are the extended sides and which are the altitudes. And so uh, one way to differentiate the two is to use a dotted line as you extend out your sides. Or you could use uh, different colors for your altitudes. So in my case, you can clearly see that my altitudes are orange. And so I don't need to use dotted lines for my extended sides because they're black. Almost done now. Just need to open my compass halfway, make these two arcs above and below, and then I should be just about finished. So I'll make one down there, and then switch it around, put it on the other corner of the mouth, and make one last arc, and that should do it. It's all over but the crying. Just got to draw this last altitude in. Oops, a little off there. And I'm a little off there. I need to uh, I'm a little to the left of my vertex. There we go. And you see that this is actually a pretty good ortho center because all three of them come together at pretty much the same point. There's no open space that you can see in between there. So that is an ortho center, three altitudes. Remember the motion is smiley face. And then go to the corners of the mouth and make half a football. And I talk about the football in previous constructions. Uh, but that's the way that uh, you create an ortho center. Make sure you have all three of them. And again, remember how you test them. Slide something with a right angle uh, up against the where the altitude meets the side of the triangle to test to see how good of a right angle it is. This is Math Fanatic. It's been real, ladies and gentlemen. If you have questions, you know what to do. Until next time.